yo, it's your boys here for episode. Fi- I actually don't remember. Fifty-four. Uh, is yeah. it fifty-two? Is it? I'm gonna go close the door real it's quick. It's fifty-two. Ah, oh, damn it. So it's kind of like we made a year deal, but it's uh, not an actual. Let's get it. Because we did that already. Like, yeah, three but episodes this ago. is the uh, unofficial, official, unofficial one year. Unofficial. The fifty-two yeah. week. Unofficial. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Fifty-two week. Yeah. Uh, nothing special except maybe a seggy. Yeah. But perhaps. we'll get into that later. First off, go ahead and make sure to like and subscribe to the Team Joystick YouTube you know, channel. YouTube go ahead and things. click that bell. Stay up to date. We got some uploads coming up pretty soon. So. Uh, and the other thing I was going to tell you was, uh, oh, and Dylan will tell you to comment something before the video oh, yeah, is over. Oh, yeah, I already, I mean, I already know. That's the new spiel yeah. here, all right? You know, by the end of it, Dylan's like, hey, what's your two cents about this? And then yeah. you're supposed to go and do mm-hmm. that. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to start the podcast, how I've started the podcast yes. approximately 52 times up until now. Okay. What have you people been, been up, up to? to? Yes. Correct, yes. And I yeah. am <laughs> deciding, okay. Can I, I mean, I'll make. I can make an executive decision here. An executive decision. Go, Go yeah. ahead. Okay. Since uh, we always start with you know Jerry or me, we're gonna start with you. Ah oh, shit. Yes. Of course. I was just thinking that. So, I was like, bro, I want to hear put what me you on the spot. Say. I actually. So like, if I get and... cue the spotlight. Oh, <laughs> Damn, now I gotta actually think about yeah. what I've been doing. Oh. <laughs> nah, I this mean, sucks, right? Going first is the worst. No, nah, like, like I, okay, so I have been doing something, but it's not really like cool or beneficial at all i've just been trying to platinum the batman arkham game i mean that is uh i mean it's important in terms to of, me right? yeah we all have those personal goals yeah, that we right. need to achieve personal gaming the, goals. the, the yeah. arkham games for me like you know we all have like games that we love when we were like younger and we still kind of like pick them up and dust them off like later on oh yeah that's definitely like the arkham series for me because i love those games a lot but then like a few weeks ago i was just kind of sitting down and i was like i've platinum like over 60 games and i've never platinum the one arkham game so I kind of like strapped yeah. in the boots and, you know, went in for it. And I'm already yeah. two down. Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Chain as yourself today. to the gamer chair. Platinum, baby. <laughs> uh, and now I'm moving on to City. <clears throat> or no, Knight. Yeah, Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight was the really bad one, right? Like, like launched poorly. It launched and, like, poorly. It's a good game. But and it, it didn't yeah. work online. It, like, yeah. it worked, uh, I mean, on PC. Did you hear about that? Yeah. yeah actually, this fun gamer fun fact for you pew, 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 pew. <laughs> <laughs> this huge animation uh the, the problem with the game running on pc i'm pretty sure it had something to do with the 60 frames per second thing like yeah. with, with running it at that at that fps but on the cover of the game depending on what version you're playing there is a speed limit sign behind batman that'll say 30 miles per hour if you're on the console version because it runs 30 right. frames per second i remember that but on wow. the pc there's a it'll say 60 uh, miles per hour because it obviously ran faster ran, ran, faster. ran faster but then it launched and did terribly yeah apparently it yeah, and also it just had broke it, it had to do with you because you would like drive like the batmobile i had something like and that. it had something to do with that that the game literally ran i want to say eight frames per second yeah like wow. it was like unplayable like you watch, it looks terrible yeah. and they had to like it, not only that they had to take it they had to refund people take it off they had to fix it i think they actually ended wow. up fixing the, the art too cyberpunk yeah, it was, like cyber, it was Cyberpunk before much, Cyberpunk. Exactly. Before it was that big a deal. And, and it I, sucks because right. that's a really good game. Yeah. But. And apparently they gave it to another company. I think that was also another thing. That no, it was that like, one yeah, was them. That. Yeah. That, that was theirs because they, they the third Arkham game is technically Origins, and that one wasn't theirs. Yeah, that, that was, was a different, different one. Yeah. That's the one I know. Arkham Knight is the fourth one, but it's technically the third of the main trilogy. Mm-hmm. Even though the other one plays exactly. it's just It should just might as well it's be in Batman. it. Batman. Yeah, so that's what I've been up to, just, just planning some some games. Yeah. Ooh, now we'll, we'll do a tag off. See, now yeah. I went. I can mm-hmm. I can pass the. Remember when we used to be in Miss Gambino's reading class? Oh, we, we didn't get to tag read. She, she picked the names. Yeah, tag yeah. reading was lit because then you could look at your boy and be like, Yo, <laughs> finish this or, paragraph. Yeah, he wants to read. <laughs> or or yeah. it sucked because you you know your friend was not paying attention, so you're just like. Uh, I'm gonna pass it to that guy over there <laughs> who doesn't know where we Just are. Like, uh, yeah. uh, right. Let's pass it on over to Joey. Yeah. Yo. Corners. Um, I haven't been doing much. I've kind of been enjoying my last like almost two weeks now until I go back to work. So I've just been staying up and trying to find a game to play. Summer I, vacation. Yeah. It's, uh, it's it looks it look like it's over. Kingdom Hearts Kingdom 2 reference that only me and Bobby <laughs> probably remember. I remember that. Um, I was going to say, I've, I've been switching off between a lot of games, not knowing where I want to, like, stop it. I've been playing GTA, Apex, Fortnite, Chivalry 2, 
all in like the same day. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just switching. I'm just kind of like I watch him by the way on PSN. Just yeah, he switches through all games. of the games. Yeah. I'm switching on all those games. That's like all I'm playing, and I don't know where to. I don't know. It's like Today, I'm just trying to squeeze in all as much fun before I'm like, all right, now I have to like chill. Today we got to play It Takes Two again for like the first Word. time in that long. It takes two is a dope platforming game. It's real, just, yeah, real yeah. quick. Uh, if, you know, I don't know if we sp- sp- if we've spoken, speak, and spoke about it. Uh, it takes two is a really, really fun cooperative platformer game that Joey and I started when it came out like two months ago, no, maybe three longer, months ago, three, four months ago. And uh, we're still not done with it because we could just never get together at the same time and play it together because you need two people to play it. Yeah. But what's kind of crazy is even back then, right, Joey, like every single level that we play and the levels are long. It's almost like there's sub levels in the levels. Mm -hmm. Like every sub level, me and Joey are like, this is crazy. Like they add some brand new fun mechanic. And then we get on the game today after like, you know, two months of not playing the game into a brand new level. And me and Joey immediately are like, this game is fucking awesome. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is the most yeah. fun game I've ever played, <laughs> but we a- never play it. It makes no sense. It's very, it's also it's not only one of those games that's fun to play, but it's just satisfying to like experience that type yeah. of vibe. Yeah. Like any yeah, type of game where you have to like, it's almost like a team building exercise in right, a way. Exactly. Like there's a lot of any any type of play, even like co-op portal. Mm-hmm. It's like the same exact deal. It's like you know you have to like work to get yeah, you know it's problem. It solving, takes two, like- and the game highlights that because obviously it's about mm-hmm. it's about a, a husband and a wife that are like divorcing, and uh, their child makes a wish to like 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 help them stick together, and they it, they turn into like these two little um, ones like a clay made doll, and the other ones like hand woven. And uh, they're tiny people, and they have to like navigate their backyard, their house, their psychosis, and everything. And everything, it's really cool. I want you to call it. Uh, I play the mommy, and Joey plays the daddy. And anytime Joey wants to play, he's always like, "Yo, Bobby, you want to fix our divorced marriage or some shit like that?" And I'm like, we, yeah. I, and I never say, "Hey, let's go play." It takes yeah, two. It's always, it's always like, like, "Bro, you want to go fix our marriage?" <laughs> bro, we're still divorced. And real yeah. quick, before we jump off, it That's takes amazing. two. In the game, we were just talking about it. In the game, what happens is like the parents take over the bodies of like these these dolls, like Joey said. Yeah. But the physical human bodies of the parents still exist like in their house and there's like scenes where the daughter will like go and she'll be like dad i know you're upset but the dad will just be like staring at the wall (laughs) because he's like not in his body so well like and you keep in mind you forget about this so we're playing this game like mad farted and i'm like isn't this daughter's parents in a catatonic state at home like the mom is just on the couch like that (laughs) so fucking stupid bro it's like they're like on some like really bad trip she's yeah, like, yeah yeah mom um can, can i have a grilled cheese sandwich and she's just, just like yeah, she's <laughs> out. my favorite one is when she Tweaked talks to out. the dad and he's sitting at his desk just looking at the wall but there's nothing there no monitors or anything he's just like boom and not saying a word <laughs> Oh, well, sometimes man. you just need to sit down, man. <laughs> yeah, look at the you wall. Mean, you would just have a desk in front of a wall <laughs> with nothing, <laughs> with nothing there. Just it's my thinking desk. <laughs> Who are you passing it off to, Joey? Mind. I'm gonna pass it off to uh, Dylan. That's not Dylan. I know I wanted to trick him. Uh uh-huh. Wait, so, who? So what's going? Dylan. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go to a fucking amusement park. That's what. That's what's up. Is that what's up? That's what's up. We gotta yeah, go to an amusement it. park. I'm I've been blue balling myself watching these videos. Well, this oh fucker's going God. to the. This fucker's going to the cool one yeah. all the way in Florida. I'll bring it up, but I want to hear more. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, well, like, I want to go to, like, because all of the cool ones, like, the actual good parks are in, like, the middle of fucking nowhere. Ohio, They're in, like, yeah. Sandusky, Ohio, Akron, Ohio. I just learned what Dollywood was. Yeah. That's that's not Wait, a what's good that? one. Yeah. It's not? Oh, okay. That's Dolly Parton's amusement park. Yeah. <laughs> it's historical. It's not necessarily. It's not good. Uh, like, in Cali, you have, like, Knott's Berry Farm and stuff Cedar like that. Cedar Point is the big yeah, one Yeah, Cedar Ohio. Point's the big one in Don't Ohio. they have, like, all the biggest Yeah, they have that places? one, Kings Island, and I believe they also have two great adventures as well. Oh, I mean, wow. uh, Six Flags, I should say. Virginia has a shit ton, yeah. too. Well, six, yeah, like, the amount of Six Flags parks, too, is insane, because there's, yeah, like, 20. And there, you, at least, there used to be, like, 25. I used to think there were six. Yeah. That is not the case it makes yeah it would make sense but yeah like there's one that there's 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 great adventure but then there's great america then there's just america <laughs> <laughs> wait where's great america i don't know Damn. i think i think it's uh massachusetts it's canada <laughs> yeah yo when's the amusement park tour yeah, when's the amusement park road trip there has bro. to be like a like a like a one 
purchase like a buy one all like a cover all buy like, one know, like all, are, well, buy one you everything. know like i buy yeah. like one thing yeah yeah, yeah that covers my st- ticket some like of them have like park, they have like membership they have like membership them. things so like uh oh there's probably like a package yeah, yeah. so yeah. it depends who they own. It, has to be one it depends right. who they own like if uh like cedar fair who owns cedar point they own like eight different parks and you could buy like their like gold membership mm-hmm. and then you can get like several entries throughout the year and stuff mm-hmm. you just so. gotta invest in a timeshare like you yeah. know how, like from new york and then like like grand they probably have that. you get like a chinese bus to go like yeah <laughs> oh dude that was the that's what me and my dad used to do all the time see yeah. my uncle in virginia we didn't want to drive just pay like what 15 dollars. it was like a ridiculously <laughs> low and you have amount. to sit next to an out of order bathroom that smells like diarrhea for yeah. four hours yeah. but you know the life that was it. Worth it. You didn't have to drive. But yeah, I'm learning about all of these different rides and all this stuff. I'll probably start with like Coney Island just to, you know. Well, you they've know, added a lot of stuff. Have you ever been to Coney Island? No, of course. But like I haven't been there since they added. They, they've added like two new yeah. roller coasters. They've, they've added, added a lot of six stuff. new I rides. I have been to Coney Island. I think and I went three years ago. Yeah, I went like five or six and I love it. Have you guys been on the Wonder Wheel? Yeah, I've never been on okay. the Wonder Wheel. The Wonder Wheel is incredible because the Wonder Wheel. It's fun. If, Jerry, you, you haven't been. No. But essentially it's a giant Ferris wheel. That's two different lines. Yeah. One of the lines is just the regular Ferris wheel on the outside, yeah. and then the other ones are swinging on the inside. So no they restraints. Rock back and forth. Oh my god. But you're like it's, you know. You, but it's fun. You're it's in track. Wait, what do you fun. mean? You're like. It's like okay. So imagine like the inner rings of the Ferris wheel. There's now imagine wheels. them having tracks on it. Yeah. And it like swings and back and it forth. Swings back and forth. So like, but because of gravity. I think the there's like white ones on the outside, and the white yeah. ones are the ones that are just stationary. Mm-hmm. But then the inside of them is an inner ring, like inside of the wheel, and those red ones swivel back and forth mm-hmm. as they go around. Just imagine a Ferris wheel, and then like a bunch of carts inside the Ferris yeah. wheel that yeah. swing around. And granted, I've been to Coney Island a bunch of times. I've never been on the Wonder Wheel. Yeah, it's a good vibe. Wonder Wheel. Bad, bad. I've been yeah, on Cyclone. Been, yeah, have you been on like I forgot what it was, but it was like a it was like a tiny roll. It was like an indoor one. I forgot what it was called, but it was basically like a horror ride. But it was yeah, like, it was like a, I've never was, been on it. It was like a ten mile an hour roller coaster. There was like that guy who yeah. in a glass box or whatever like throwing up. Yeah, for some yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why? That's exactly. Crazy. It. Why? Cre- creepy ride. Scary. Yeah. He's throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> He's. Remember that ride that used to just like go in a circle, but it would go up and down like, and then there'd be like a part. It was like a oh yeah 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 I know you're talking about yeah the one they do it to music yeah 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 I love those and And some person got hurt on it I remember somebody got like flung from it and like got seriously hurt yeah it's like the I forget what something express I forget what they call them crazy oh man no that throwing up guy I told that just (laughs) image in the back of my head I was like whoa it's not just like Coney Island other places maybe because of Coney Island they want to replicate it but like other haunted houses at these small amusement parks incorporate like a person throwing up in front of the ride I'm about to bring Dylan back for sure I mean they might they might just be made by the same manufacturer could yeah. be. I'm about to bring Dylan Sounds back like for weird. sure. Possibly Joey. I don't think Jerry. Do you guys remember the A Fair? The one that used to be at the Aqueduct? No. It was a full on like amusement park that they used to put on like once a year at where the I've the, been I've been past it because my, the, my uh, grandma lived on the dead end right next to Aqueduct. So we were like So you remember you know where Resorts World the Casino is now? Yeah. I don't know if you remember there used to be the flea market there. It used to be yeah, absolutely I that. iconic. The Super flea iconic. I remember that. The flea market was insane. Used to spend Giant bag of many candy. Many Sundays there. You know, I never knew what happened to that flea market. And now you telling me that that was there before the casino well, clears up a lot of There memories. you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened but, but no in that uh, that huge lot when there used to be the 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 flea market there for like once or twice a year they used to do the a fair and i don't i think it was the air fair maybe for the aqueduct but they used to have like an alligator mascot or something like that but it was like a full-on amusement park they would put on like huge coasters and rides everywhere haunted houses it was like a huge fucking deal and we would like go every year and i remember um you know that ride that's just basically like a it's like a stick with two balls and the balls are the things you sit in and it spins around like that. Okay. okay. So like at one point you're yeah. really high up and then you go back down. Yeah. My dad went on that with my friend Erica years ago. My dad was probably in his 30s and he had, like, he hit his head on something and he started like bleeding from his nose. He's oh like, I'm God. never getting on that ride ever again. And I was like, what the hell happened All those to you? janky carnival rides. Yeah, 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 God, yeah, yeah. Imagine going on a carnival ride you come back with like your broken. nose <laughs> broken. Yeah. Those fucking that's, teacups, that's, man. That's like the cannonball loop 
That's what that's reminding me of. You guys it's know a, about the cannonball loop? No. At is action, that the thing that shoots you, flings you? No. <laughs> You're about to say action park? Yeah, so Uh-oh. at action park in New Jersey. That's not going to end uh, good. They, <laughs> like, basically, they were just, like, invent rides, and there was, like, no regulation. People died. <laughs> Make rides. <laughs> no, like on, honestly, honestly the wave pool was nicknamed the grave pool. Yeah, yeah, people oh died. Because the, oh. the waves, out of 30 minutes, the waves would be on for 22 of the 30 minutes straight. Oh, my God. And they were, like, 10-foot waves. <laughs> and so if you couldn't fucking swim and you went out deep you were you know they literally had uh 12 lifeguards on duty Whoa, and it wasn't even a huge pool. Grave pool but uh but yeah essentially they made a ride that was basically a slide that made a loop which if you know how slides work <laughs> oh, you can't shit. do that so basically people would if you weren't heavy enough you would make it halfway <laughs> and then bash your face oh my god and be you know and basically you know, it was open for like two years. That's like some crazy. They would they would shit. literally put weights in your pockets and hose you down so that you could make it all the way. Oh my god! It's like it, people got hurt. It's terrifying. People got hurt. Damn. Mm. Before I before we swing it over to see what Jerry's been up to, I just wanted to end it on one last thing. Uh, me and my dad, you know, we smoke, but my mom doesn't like to smoke at all. And yeah. one time I asked her, I was like, Mom, why don't, why don't you smoke? Like, you seem pretty chill. Like, you'd be into it. And she just told me, she was like, Bobby, I have really bad experiences with, with weed. It's just not for me. Mm. And I let it go. Yeah. But then one time, I, I just couldn't take the excuse anymore. And I was like, but, like, why? Like, what happened? And she's like, well, when I was 16, you know, I did it with my cousin for the first time. And then we got on the Coney Island Cyclone. And I was like, well, there's your fucking <laughs> answer, bro. The first time you smoked, you got on like the world's scariest fucking you, unfinished roller coaster. You got, you got on. Oh my god! You got on a roller coaster that was built in the early 1900s. Exactly. And it's very rich. It's like it's good, but it's like it's it, good. It's you rough. know what I did the first wow. time I smoked weed? Yeah. I ate an entire cracker platter and watched you play Rocket League for yeah. five minutes. Yeah. If I that was what I did the first time, I would yeah. not be smoking weed ever again. That'd mm-hmm. be the most horrifying thing. Horrible, man. Horrible. But now I wanna, now I wanna smoke and get on the cyclone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. no, I do you can shit. go to Coney Island. It ain't fucking expensive. It is, and it's right there. Yeah, yeah. Why does everyone talk so badly about Coney Island? Because uh, it's free. I mean, the, the it can be ratchet I mean, at times. I mean, it's not free. Yeah, I guess I've heard that. that but like, like ratchet. you don't need like if I just want to walk around in Coney Island, I don't need to pay for anything. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. So it's That's, technically kind of free. It's hella crowded because of it, the, yeah, it's, it's like yeah, like it's even not. even as for me who lives near the beach the coney island beach is a whole different animal i don't it's like mad it. crowded it's so, like the beach everyone goes to so yeah, yeah like, word so do you pay per ride depends yeah, uh, yeah. you some, buy tickets and those tickets are for the ride yeah and okay. then so there's luna park which is essentially yeah that's what i was gonna par- ask you. there's a park that has like rides in it but the wonder wheel the the cyclone, cyclone and a few others are like you just get a ticket and you pay for it. Yeah. Cyclone's like nine dollars, Wonder Wheel's like eight or ten or something like that. What I was gonna ask you is those rides aren't included in the Luna no. Park thing? Okay, no, so I didn't know if they were still they're their own thing. They're because they're, okay. they're like iconic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, Luna yeah. Doesn't own I just them, didn't know if the new park would have taken it over or anything. It actually almost feels like it's next to the park. So yeah, it's like, yeah, oh, yeah. like you're in the park. Hey, we're looking for Cyclone. Okay, you need to leave the park and, and go just pay walk for across yeah, the street. Yeah, go two blocks over yeah, there. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's right there, but it's on like outside of the premises. You know that, the, 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 what is it? The El Dorado bumper cars? The guy mm-hmm. goes, bump, bump, bump your ass off. That guy. Yeah. Do you remember like the freak shows too over there? That was like those are my favorite. I've never what? been to a freak show. My those mom my talks to me about them all the time. Look in the mirror. <laughs> well, you know how much I used to love those shits. I used to try fucking everything. <laughs> but yeah, I used to fucking love that place, man. When I went, they had the uh, unicorn man. They had like the world's hairiest man. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you think you're gonna get the power? It's oh my god. Like, just the gorilla. Can you imagine, you, you, imagine you just like he's growing mad hair, and you're like, "Let me go to the Coney Island and see if I can get a job, <laughs> get, some, get some money." Just no, around. I mean, like as someone, I I know I know about some random shit, but I actually know about like the carny industry and shit like that. <laughs> of course and, you do. That. And like it would it would basically just be like a guy who would be like a salesman or something or like an entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah. And they hey, would you're just, real hairy. Like, uh, yeah, like <laughs> legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they'd yeah, be yeah, like, like P.T. Barnum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 hey, little boy, you got three arms. I can <laughs> just get him, and then just like, all right, I can profit off you. Yeah, you what's his freak? Wait, what's his name? The fucking Elephant Man. Yeah. It was like the same thing where like you just basically like adopted this kid and just take him around and like take Show all his money. Off, Yo, exactly. check it out. Yeah, because like, <laughs> look at this thing. <laughs> Pay me twenty bucks. I'll show you something yeah. crazy. Bro. And the worst, the, <laughs> it it feels the worst when it would be. <laughs> It's the worst when it's like not like a bad thing either. Like it was like, oh, and he was 
black you know yeah, like it'd be like some crazy <laughs> thing where it'd be like not a not a weird experience yeah, yeah, yeah. or it'd be like oh he has bad attention span <laughs> <laughs> like it's always like insubstantial shit step right up ladies and gentlemen the kid that can't tie his shoes <laughs> <laughs> it's just watch him try to fucking tie idiot. his shoes <laughs> they're throwing peanuts at this <laughs> fucking kid you loser <laughs> They're not it. <laughs> you can't tie your shoes. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so they write like a whole ass emotional movie. That's about a badass <laughs> punishment, though. If you if you ever want to make someone like feel like shit, <laughs> per- act, no, no, like pr- put them in a freak show without telling them, and then they go in and they think it's like a show. They think it's like an actual oh, they thing. Think they're they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. They're like they pull out a piano and some shit, or like they do whatever they want to do. They oh think, God. and they're like, oh, it's. <laughs> Try to do this. It's a bunch of people roasting you. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. Anyway, J- Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> uh, what have you I been mean, I've been. I've just been chilling. I have like a week off of coding. I started on like Thursday. Does this mean that what you have to say will not be coding related? It won't be <laughs> until next Thursday. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Have a week off yet? Yeah. I mean, I just been chilling, doing the same like gaming shit. I don't know. Yeah, it's been, been, been a really chill outside. week. Yeah. yeah, it's been either it's been a very it's chill been week. mad hot or rainy. Yeah, so it's just like you can't go out and do shit. And that's for, I mean, for way. reference, we're recording this right before Hurricane Henry strikes, like yeah. our <laughs> legitimate position where we are right now. Like, it's, correct, shit's yeah. about to get crazy in like what five six hours from yeah. now. So yeah, three a.m. four a.m. But we learn from the snowstorm deep. shit. We nothing stops us now. Even if the apocalypse happens right now, we're recording this. <laughs> right. Just I mean, I've out. just been like playing, playing Apex, playing Pokemon Unite. Yeah, yeah. That game is kind of fun. I, I watch you guys play. Jerry's it, been yeah. online gaming. <laughs> gaming. Even when Jerry comes to my house, he's playing Pokemon gaming. Unite. Right. I didn't bring it today. It was raining like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Don't worry, because we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna play another game. Oh yeah. right. What's what is the, this game? What's that game, Jerry? Uh, Ultimate Horse something. Ultimate Chicken Horse. So chicken I'll horse. explain it, Joey. Chicken Horse. What is yeah. this? So it's essentially a four up to four players. It's a platformer. But you have to put the items. Every round, you get a set of items, Ooh, and one right. person gets to put an item, and you're trying to help yourself, but also fuck everyone else over. So right. think about it. It's kind of like every level is the same. There's a goal that you have to get to and a place that you always start from. Mm-hmm. And every round is kind of like Mario Maker, but you all get a chance to place one object. So it yeah. could be a platform that helps you get to the goal, oh. but it can also be like saw blades that'll fuck you yeah, up. Yeah, it can be so glue. Yeah. You can have glue that and it'll stick. a lot of fun. It is it a is. lot of fun. It was crazy because like Dylan downloaded it and then me and Dylan started playing for five minutes and that was it. We were both. Yeah, it was like, it's like a $10, $20 game. You know? The yeah. Jerry jumps oh, in. Oh, yeah, it was made. You know, I got it on sale like, for like $4. Like yeah. it was, it was, Bro. it was fine. Sometimes you just go in the shopping list of PlayStation and just. Go the indie and all the way down and just pick a game. It's mad fun. Yeah, like yeah. what's that? What the fuck's that game we played? It's like with the platforms. We played it on the channel and it was like mad hype. The platforms? Yeah, it was like a, it's like a Japanese game and you have to like jump on the platforms. We played it on the channel. A Japanese game. Yeah, we did. It sounds kind of familiar, but yeah, at the same time, yeah, it yeah, doesn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not Nidhogg. It's not Towerfall Ascension. It's like something Force, I think. G Force. No. <laughs> now, now I gotta look this up. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the name of it. And we it. played it on the channel. I believe so. Towerfall? I don't know. Force. No, it's not Towerfall. No, it's no, no, no. It, it's, it's a Rogue game. Force. Not Cloudberry, right? No, no, no. Star it's, Force. It's, remember, it's a four player game. It's like 2v2, and you have to shoot each other and get on Wizard platforms, Force. and you have to ride the platform to the end. It's like Nidhogg, but you ride on platforms. Mm, fuck, you had me there at a second, and then you lost me. Huh. Wizard, <laughs> damn! Now I'm trying. Anyways, to... <laughs> these four player like indie games, yeah, are weird. always sick. And this one's so cool because it's like um, you get points based on each thing. So you get points for every time you kill someone. Right. You get you can put coins on the map and collect those. You get extra points oh, for that. Right. If you're if you uh, if you're trap kill someone. Yeah. If you're if you're in last and you win, you get like double or triple points because right. you got to come back. Mm, cool. Yeah. All the cool stuff. And so it's just like you have to reach a certain amount of points yeah, and then it's real simple rules. Sounds dope, I wanna try it. Good, yeah. good gameplay. We did one play we did one <laughs> game of it. Like it was like a of the thing I'm looking for right now? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we did. Yeah, I don't that... Unless it like never came out. Super Monkey Ball, Nidhogg, Towerfall Ascension, Star Wall. I remember Star Wall. Narwhal. I guess it never came out. Towerfall. That is very possible. That yeah. is very 
<laughs> I know exactly what game you're talking about. You're talking about the game that we played on the Switch the same time we played Tools Up that same exact fucking night. With it was like the anime game with the the, the pink and the blue. Remember that? I don't think I was here for that. You I was were there. here that for was that. A, that was a Joey game. It was Joey it was, game. Uh, it was a Tools Joey Up, game. and it was like Overcooked. No. No. Yeah, no. Oh, no, 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 I'm telling you. But we, we played this game. I, I, will show, I will download it on your PS4. No, 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 I'm telling you exactly. Because this wasn't the first time we played it, though. We played this on the channel. No, I'm telling years you exactly. Ago. No, this was the first time we played it. Because the day that we got together to film the Tools Up Let's Play that never came out, or Let's Play, like, like five, six months ago, that you also had that game downloaded, and we did one in that one, too. We did two back-to-back, -back, but they never came out. Was... Yeah, sounds familiar. The other game that I kind of remember us playing was um and how Dylan the necromancer no move. and how Dylan described it was perfect. It's like you get on a platform and it's like a two v two and you have to try to write. Because the, the thing end. I'm thinking about is that I because I own this game and I remember playing it five years ago. Uh, that's what I'm thinking of. That's why I was. Is it the I, game where they're like dressed as superheroes and they're just running? I don't know. From what I remember, they're like mech. We, like we can know. solve this by just go. We'll go upstairs. Yeah. Right. right. Like, <laughs> this is, yeah, this is annoying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, to diverge it from fun ass video game party games that yeah. we've been playing, uh, I think we have something cooked up, do we? We do. I totally forgot this existed. And I this made is, this earlier. This is Dylan's <laughs> nice. brainchild. Yo, let's go. Yeah. And judging from our sign today, I think I can guess it. But Dylan, what are we in store for today? Yeah. Uh, so I don't remember what we called this the first time. Oh, I remember what we called what, it. What do you remember what we called it? Yeah, we called it the lyrics of a very specific rapper. Yeah. Who is your your handle? My, right? Yeah, my alter ego. Your alter ego. This uh, little, known as Lil Cabbage. So this is in fact gonna be <laughs> the lyrics of Lil Cabbage. Correct. Track two. Yeah. Ooh, we like that track one. Track right? two. Ooh. Ooh. EP back in session. Damn straight. So essentially, how the game works: uh, three really sus, horrible, what the fuck rap lyrics. Two are real. One is yours truly, Lil Cabbage, cabbage. <laughs> and you have to figure out which one. Is was that written one. by Lil Cabbage. Gotcha. But in a perspective, yeah. we haven't uh we haven't done this on the channel since episode oof, eight. This, I think this is a single digit episode. Eight or nine, I believe. Wow. Whoa. This was episode eight. Yep. Yep. Damn. So and it was me, Dylan, and Jerry, and for some reason Jerry sat on that side of the Whoa. table. Yeah, right. Wild. Yeah, yeah. Some pretty <laughs> And Whoa. oh, and interestingly enough, as I'm looking at it right now, the episode right after that was Joey's first appearance, the painting episode. That was oh. that's probably why Jerry doesn't sit Before on that we start it <laughs> Can I just say someone needs to keep score? Or just in their head or I got you, I'll do it for because okay. you know we've learned yeah. and a year ago we didn't keep right. score, so this time yeah, I'll right. we will. So hold on, okay. let me pull out a notes section for you. Yeah, so I tried to make these categories as much as I could. So a lot of the lyrics are going to be very similar. Some of them have the exact same wording. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but one is Little Cabbage's lyric. Correct. All right. Okay. So the first category is called Yay. As Yay? In, as in Kanye. Okay. All right. All right. So the first one. Okay. Dreamt of playing like Kobe... Fat dick like Moby. <laughs> okay. I keep it 300 like the Romans. Okay. Number three, that goddamn cucumber from Bath and Body Works. I still smell the shit. That shit hardly works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and okay. say what my guess is first. I think it's the first one. I think the first one is low cat. Can we all <laughs> can we all agree? Can we just all agree real quick that number three is a hundred percent a real rap <laughs> lyric? <laughs> And that, that's totally is. like that's yeah like that has to yeah, be. I I'm not gonna. The other two sound familiar to me. I don't Keep know why. it 300 like the Romans, that's, which sounds real. Sounds which real. by the way is not, like it's, that's that's Greek. It's Sparta. Yeah, it's right. not Sparta. even the Romans. Kanye that's says that's that. why I laughed yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah, I yeah, found yeah, that it's, funny. It's Sparta. And the first one, if you could please remind me, is dreamt of playing like Kobe, fat dick like Moby. Yeah, that's got that's, that's got little cabbage written all over it. I'm gonna go with a fat number one is little cabbage. Correct. It is oh, low cabbage. Yeah. Uh, the How's Dylan supposed to know Moby's got a fat dick? Yeah. I mean, come on. Uh, the other two were Kanye West. So yeah. Very wow. nice. Wow. Great. Yeah, Nobody cares, Moby. So celebrities are more important than the safety and well-being. Nobody cares, Moby. Nobody cares. No one. So are you guys ready for number two? Ready. Yeah. Yeah. So the category for number two is poop. 
Nice. Huh, number two, I get it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so number one. I'm the shit, yeah, I'm farting. I don't know how to poo. <laughs> uh, number two is I'm the shit like I'm slithered in poo. Slithered? Yeah. Okay. And number three is I'm the shit, I'll give you hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so they're all shit <laughs> yeah they all start with i'm um, the shit, shit. <laughs> and then proceeded by a horrible horrible okay uh, so is it comparable. slithered in shit is it shit give you hemorrhoids or is it i'm the shit watch me poo it was it, it, the, the that exact lyric is i'm the shit i'm farting i don't know how to poo this is a tricky one, guys. I say two. I say one again. Okay, hold on. Hemorrhoids. Two is the slithered and shit. No, wait, wait. Is two that... is the slithered. Yeah, that's yeah, how I read it. Slithered. Okay. I'm gonna go with two. It's fake. I'm gonna say one. What do you say, Joey? I say two. Okay. Uh, I'm the shit. Give you hemorrhoids as little cabbage. Oh, so you're all wrong. Yeah. Wow. Damn it. Didn't even rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, there's no way that's cabbage. <laughs> cabbage usually rhymes. All right. So far, we all are at, are tied at one. So what's that little cabbage Correct. you got? Yeah. One second. I'm just numbering this so I don't get confused. All right. You guys ready for uh, the third one? Yeah, let's go yeah. for it. All right. <laughs> Number one. Uh, just one of my fetishes, like a dragon that's pregnant. <laughs> okay. Number two, here I come, hide and seek, playing peekaboo penis. <laughs> Number three, she put that thong on my groin groin, then it go boing. <laughs> okay. Three. <laughs> All right. Can the third one. Them? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh shit! Hold on, let me unlock my phone. All right, hold on. I gotta process. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no which process. one do you want me to repeat? All Does of them? Yeah, all of them. On. The peekaboo penis one was sus as hell. Okay. I don't know where that one. Okay, so is then the from. first one is just one of my fetishes, like a dragon that's pregnant. Okay. <laughs> Number two, here I come, hide and seek, playing peekaboo penis. <laughs> Number three, she put that thong on my groin, groin, then it go, boing! Exclamation point. Okay, it's gotta be two. It's got to be two. Three is 100% a rap lyric. Three is 100% a real rap lyric. I'm between number one and number two, and I'm going with number two. Because what go rapper with... goes out and puts peekaboo penis in their fucking song? <laughs> I'm going to go with two also. That's yeah. not a hard bar. I'm going to change mine. It's two. <laughs> Lil Cabbage is playing peekaboo penis. Oh, so I knew it. They're all tied with two. Oh. <laughs> the fuck is that, Dylan? What's peekaboo penis? <laughs> Oh, uh, there was actually a very similar rap line that had that had peekaboo and penis like in the same like, line, scarily close. Yeah, to each like other. within the same bar, and uh, I was like, "What if they just put it in my head?" <laughs> Dylan did some fucking work on that's that. How, I mean, that's usually I usually take one that like is a real lyric, but like from two different ones, uh -huh. and then I just like combine them usually huh. to make the fake one. So yeah, uh, for last round, the the two f real shit ones were from Hobson and Kodak Black, mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, the pregnant dragon was Jaden Smith. Which one was the Hobson one? Uh, Hobson was uh, slithered in poo. That's 100% a Hobson <laughs> lyric. I know exactly that lyric, too, now that you say it. Because as soon as you said it, as soon as you said Hobson, I was like, slithered. it was a poo lyric. It was a, He says poo a lot, actually. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the groin, groin, then it go boing is Big Sean. I can see that. I can see that. I yeah. can definitely see that. All right, you guys ready for? I can also hear him saying it. <laughs> you guys ready for number four? This is very close. We're gonna start having them make like different, you know, just for the fact of uh, trying to win. Yeah. All right, Can't you guys we ready? All be winners. Uh, these are all food related. Oh. Ooh, yum. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, first one is raisin brand with some almond milk. I never thought I'd see the day I'm drinking almond milk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number two is Ayo, this rap is like Z ZD, facing me real TV, crash at high speeds, a strawberry kiwi. Okay. <laughs> and number three is mac and cheese, making me feel hella pleased. Okay. So can I can I work this out yeah. real quick if you don't mind? Can you just repeat number one for a minute? 
Please. Raisin bran with some almond milk. I never thought I'd see the day I'm drinking almond milk. So let's halt this here real quick. <laughs> let's halt this here real quick. My man rhymes. I've almond- actually seen an interview. I forget the rapper, but there was a rapper who sat down and they asked him very randomly. They were like, what's your favorite cereal? And his response, word for word, was raisin bran, man. I didn't like that shit when I was younger, but that shit is hard as an adult now. And I felt that, so I think one is right. I think Raisin Bran is secretly like a like a, a catalyst in the in the rap community. Can yeah. you repeat number two for me? Yeah, uh, number two is Ayo. This rap is like ZD facing me on TV. Crash at high speed. Strawberry kiwi may not be right, but that shit's got riff rap it, all yeah. over it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go with number three because yeah. I'm fairly certain the first two yeah, are definitely rap lyrics and yeah. Mac and Cheese, please, whatever that shit was, is yeah. definitely Dylan on the way here yeah. from the bus. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna lock it in with three. That was the first. Yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? I think it's I would three. say three. Yeah, it is. Oof. Yeah, uh, we're getting it. Who did number? Who did the the? the yeah, strawberry I'm kiwi. So uh, strawberry kiwi was Ghostface Killer, oh, and yeah. he basically <laughs> was like, "This raps like ZD because I make really good ZD." Uh, and the strawberry kiwi line doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um. And the first one was J. Cole, and it's like from like it's like a romance song. Look at that. Yeah. Nice. Who did and he's it? like, You changed me. You're Who a woman. I thought I'd be drinking almond milk. I never thought that I would be drinking almond milk. All right, you guys ready for. I, think uh, I only had almond milk once. I don't like almond milk. I put it in my protein shakes. It makes my mouth itch. Are you, Are you allergic, allergic to, to almonds? <laughs> I think a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like almonds. It makes my face. I mean, that's so a fair <laughs> reason not to like something if you're allergic to it. All right, this one is really, uh, really, really big. Go. What do you mean big? So this is the last one. Okay. Oh. So, and you're all tied. Oh yeah, we are. We all have three points. At you all have three. So. Let's go. Let's see if somebody. So wins we all here. get four, and if we all don't get four, somebody wins. Yeah. Or somebody. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah, you all win. Everyone gets a trophy. Hey, Joey's playing. Yeah, so like always, two. there's some weird things that rappers like. So this one, you're going to sense the trend, right? Okay. Okay. So the first one is, she got a real nice fragrance, not like her anus. Wow. Number two is, <laughs> are you into astrology? Because I'm, I'm trying to make it to your anus. Uh, and then number three is, young, black, and famous, money hanging out the anus. <laughs> <laughs> all right i say one so doesn't astrology have nothing to do with plants isn't that the zodiac shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> wait what uh some of it has to do with like earth but moon rising in the sun and but stuff. It, the stars it, it's it has to do with the stars <laughs> yeah okay so hold on yeah I th- uh, i'm gonna say one i say one too. anus that just sounds gross as shit yeah. <laughs> but not uh, like it though the the astrology yeah. Uranus thing sounds like a rap lyric only for the case that Uranus has nothing to do with astrology and that's probably a lyric that somebody would make and absolutely not know about like they'd be like oh shit I had no idea <laughs> and then the third one which what, I'm sorry black Yo- and young, young black. black and famous with money hanging out the anus fuck it's one or three <laughs> yeah I say it's one I think it's one too yeah what do you guys think I think it's one <sighs> all one yeah all one. hold on. Because if, if, if you change, change if you change it and, it and you get it right, right, I win. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So could it be three? Yeah. Do you want to win or do, do you want do do hundred percent lose? Okay. Read number two again. It's not number two. No, number three is a real rap lyric. Are you? My apologies. Are you into astrology? Because I'm trying to make it to Uranus. That's two. Uh, okay. I think it's two. It's number one. I'm gonna go. With I one. say one. I say one. Two. It is one. Whew. Fuck, I changed yeah. it. Yo, that's what you get. Right. I'm, I'm finally fun. winning so, like, if Jerry's rate. a loser. So the wow. the, the the astrology one is uh, Kanye again. Mm. We love him. Uh-huh. Man, he really doesn't. You know, he's got to get those references yeah. down. He's you know? a great. Yeah, and then Young Black and Famous, Money Hanging Out the Anus is Mace. Okay, Mace. Kanye really Mace. be like. I got whiskers and a tail out here. Call me Jerry. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of that too, where it's like rappers do that. Like, um, uh, what was it? Blowing on the cello. Uh, <laughs> Blowing on the cello. Yeah. Yachty said, but he was like, I actually don't know what a cello is. Yeah, like, he was, was like, I thought it was like a flute. Yeah, he he he, he mixed <laughs> up he, he, he mixed up cello and piccolo. Like he mixed up the two, <laughs> wow. and I'm like, that's honest. That's an honest mistake, bro. This but, ain't a buff green alien. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. But there's also oh, others where it's like uh, they it gets intentional. Like I think Ski Mask once said, "I'm flyer like an ostr- I'm flyer than an ostrich or some shit, or yeah. I'm fly like an ostrich." But I'm like, living like a dodo. Yeah. <laughs> you name extinct <laughs> animals. 
Thanks for the lyrics of Little Cabbage too. No Bill. problem. Just hey. uh, there is some uh, there is some real honorable mentions, like a lot of like ones that like rappers, like homophobic rappers, unintentionally <laughs> sounding gay is like a Mad Calvin one. Like there was one that Dr. Dre literally just says, "I want cock," <laughs> where I'm like, "Bro, you're literally." Man, like, <laughs> uh, there was one rapper who had a rap lyric that, like, he was just rapping about, like, him and his girl, and he's just like, grocery bags. <laughs> what? <laughs> and he just ends the rap lyric with grocery bags, and then it goes to the chorus, and, and everyone was like, grocery bags. Grocery like, it's supposed to be some bags. hard hitting yeah, yeah, yeah. like, final line. <laughs> Damn, what rhymes with grocery bags? Tags? Grocery Something tags? Bags. Uh, toast tags. with... To- Composting, <laughs> composting something. Toast with some slags. <laughs> Grocery bags. Skags from Borderlands. Borderlands. Man, what a game! What a game! Borderlands were. So game. Jerry, yeah, if you didn't change your answer, you, all of you would be winners. Yeah. yeah. You win. You win nothing. Mm, yeah. There's no yeah. prize. That's why I was like, you know what? Let me take the chance and be the only winner. And I that's what it got you. I think it's a prize. Dylan should give us tickets, Joey and I, to the first ever Little Cabbage show. <laughs> whenever he, uh, you know, whenever he unleashes Word. his first album, oh, can't okay. wait to hear some little cabbage lyrics. Uh, just <laughs> intentionally bad rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like semi copying other unintentionally bad yeah. rap. <laughs> That's like, your brand. This segment we could do forever as long as people keep making, making bad stupid lyrics. music. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's keep definitely making possible. That dumb music. Yeah, and then we could move it on to other genres. There's bad country lyrics. There's bad rock lyrics. Oh, for sure. Oh, There's for a ton sure. of like date rapey rock wow. like and like you know he's not wrong uh Word. like like I, for who i uh, iggy pop has a song called sweet 16 where he talks about how hot 16 year olds are mm. like wow. liter- literally just like out in the open like uh isn't like brown eyed girl about some shit that's like fucked up it's like about like an affair or some shit i don't know uh ringo and the beatles made a song about a sweet, uh, 16 year old being beautiful and all his yeah and it was mad creepy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. very creepy people now you know. Back in my day, we could make music about yeah. sixteen year old. Like Nickelback has a song about like having a threesome, and it's like the worst song ever. But it sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how you both knew. Huh? Yeah. It's like the video we just watched. That guy who knows every word to the Nickelback song, <laughs> "Say the Baby." Shout outs. Man, yeah, that's how you remind me. A blind man. Remember what was the song by Nickelback, Rockstar? Yeah, I used to know every I lyric to that baseball song. In. Yeah, <laughs> bathroom, I can play baseball. It's so in. funny. I'm like, why do you have a southern accent, bro? Yeah, like, it's weird. Wow, it's like you're not even southern. Sign a couple autographs so I can eat my meals for free. And then there's that guy in the back that's like, tell not how it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. The ad lib uh-huh. guy. That's the best part of that song. Oh, you yeah. always need the country. You always need a deep voice. Deep voice uh, ad lib guy. Like, I don't know if you've seen uh, Inside Lumen Davis, the movie. I still yeah, have. Yeah, it's like Oscar Isaac. Uh, it's like everyone that was in Star Wars. Adam Driver. Yeah. Yeah. Adam Taylor. Driver plays that guy yeah, yeah. in the country song. So he would just be like. What does he say? Uh. He, he says, says yeah. He says a few different shit. But yeah, it's because Justin Timberlake and Oscar Isaac are actually singing. <laughs> yeah, but then yeah, he yeah. comes in and he's like, uh huh, or some yeah, shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, but he yeah, says yeah. something. And then, like, the Oscar Isaac is the one who cuts him off. He's like, who wrote this? Like, yeah, he says, like, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, he goes, oh, oh. <laughs> or some shit like that. But he says this, like, five yeah, times. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, and, like, they show him in the studio before they're starting. He's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's like practicing. <laughs> Great movie. 10 out of 10 movie. Do you guys like country music? And when I say that, I know you guys don't like country music, but like, is there like a secret country? Uh, there's a, there's a few good country artists without a doubt. I, I agree. I like hip hop yeah. a lot. I haven't heard. That's like uh, old town, old, old town road, hmm. like country, oh, okay. country rap. Um, and then there was also like Cotton Eye Joe and like all like country oh, electronica. Oh, but that's like yeah. Like there's like dance. Aren't they like Swedish or something? Yeah, yeah. But there's a yeah, but there's like a lot of like groups from like Italy and stuff that do like country electronica yeah, and shit right. like that, which is like What's weird. What's the sound uh, Aaron West gives? Is that country? Oh, well, it's uh, like folk. That's like uh, it's like folk. It's like blues. It, it's like folky storyteller yeah. type of stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. rock, but it has like that angle of like oh, I'm gonna tell a story, like a tale. Yeah, I that's... just hear the acoustic, and yeah. I'm like, this sounds yeah. Like I, I can imagine saying country after so hearing it. Folk and country and blues kind of like mold. Like they're very so maybe similar. I like that yeah. more than yeah. Country. Folk is folk is incredible. Folk is 
cool. I don't like, explore those genres. Yeah, you should. It's huh. uh, it's interesting, especially when people like do their own spins on it. Like I don't know if you guys know uh, what was it, uh, AJJ. Yes, I know him. Yeah. Um. Basically, back in the day, he was like one of the first. He did like folk punk, hmm. and like he was like the first people to do that. And then, uh, like the Mountain Goats were a folk band, but they like just told stories about like their lives. Yeah, it he just sings about divorce. Yeah, and what he was like, like <laughs> I went to the store. You know, like, it's Crazy. like very like, but it's and like I graduated college. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, and then our, and then another band, me and Joey, like a band by the name of the Front Bottoms. <laughs> He's, no, the funny thing is, he sounds oh exactly like that. I believe it. Yeah, he yeah. sounds exactly. I probably do. I will grab you <laughs> by the ears. Like he just sounds exactly like that. Oh and then God. Brian from the front bottoms heard that, and he's like, "What if we did that, but really fast?" Yeah. And sang about some like hood rat shit in New Jersey, and then Word. that became that group. Crazy. And then it's like you know, not a lot of people know. Like, ob- like not obviously, but you guys know that I come from like a family of musicians. Yeah. Like my great, well, my grandpa was a nightclub singer, but my great grandpa, his dad was like a really famous uh hispanic singer in puerto rico yeah and my dad told me once like apparently he was like one of the biggest pioneers for like latin folk music Mm -hmm. it's kind of cool that's dope he has a full-on museum in puerto rico that i I hope to visit one day but to be honest every time i hear it it's just like the guitar comes in it's like and then it's that's pretty much every song but you know and you're like damn it's a vibe distinguish yeah i mean that's music man you can't you can't hot you know like maybe right. like symphony shit was super complex but like old music like old pop music and shit like that like people give it a hard time but it's like there was no other pe- people are just creating shit, yeah you know? right. there was no other thing you can draw from exactly you just gotta get like, in the vibe music is exponential too so like in the future as it goes on yeah. Yeah, exactly right and well, fuck, Crazy. There was something i was gonna say on the, the vibes get the topic yeah, you have too. more to draw from so that's why you know you can mix like eight different genres like that didn't exist in like you 1800s. People had never musicians. heard this music before. It's crazy. My family being musicians. That's what the last thing you said. Oh no, no I, it wasn't about that. I'm trying All to right. go back and remember. It was before that, but damn, it was something about music. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Like back in the day, you used to only listen to music like your like village or like whatever would make. Yeah, right. You, you wouldn't never hear like, oh, what's this instrument? Oh, because there was like, no. Re- yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> very good point. Don't thy ears hear that? Tom just <laughs> built a fucking drum. This you shit just that? got nuts. Yo, this is a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the. <laughs> Yo, blow through that pipe real quick again. All right, now, uh, now poke a hole in it. This sounds some Legend of Zelda <laughs> shit, bro. Like, they, he goes to the Gorons and they're playing the drums. He goes to all these other animals and they're playing. That's some Legend of Zelda shit. Nintendo, cap on that. That is some shit they would make. Instruments Fucking. are cool, man. I was telling Dylan, the instrument you know, we people. are kind of nearing. We're not there yet, but the Jam and Yam segment. But I told really? Dylan. Really? No way. I told Dylan early no way. that uh, <sighs> that I, I had a lot of contention for songs to pick this week because I had like 11 down the line. But the last couple that are on the jams are legit like classical songs because for some reason I've been on like a classical kind of like binge lately. I've been listening to like Vivaldi and Bach and shit. Kind of vibey, not gonna lie. Yeah, it is a vibe. Good music. Super Without good. Without a doubt. Let's just say it's because I've been writing a video that I hope to make on Joystick about pizza that features classical music. Mm. So I had to start it looking has that have a name. We don't know what to call music. it yet. We were currently thinking. Right. Well, I know what to call it. I'm just no, not promising uh, anything. Yet, it's still very. It's still in pre-production at the moment, you know. So. Yeah. But there's some great ideas there. Oof. Shout us to bread. Somebody say something. <laughs> Shout us to dough, bro. Bro, bread dough. My uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> segue from that. Um, I've been using this air fryer. Like my father, Yo. when we came back from Florida, we Essential. started using an air fryer. And I looked at this thing like, what the fuck is this big ass thing? I'm, I'm comfortable using the toaster. And my dad was like, yeah, but it, it doesn't make any grease. And it's, it's an air fryer. And my dumbass was like, but the toaster like isn't that also using the compressed air from the heat like all of that and he was like no but this is different and i tried it and it's bomb bro air yeah. fry air fryers get a legit. lot of shit done and you okay. can put like a whole packet of it like you don't gotta what, what's measure the face? it <laughs> what's the face no I, i'm i'm here for the air fryer thing yeah but now that i'm thinking about it how, how do toasters work what toasters are mini toaster oven yeah toaster ovens are just a toaster oven okay. toaster ovens are just mini ovens they're just ovens, but very, very right. tiny, and they run off electric. Air circulates. So they have, they, and they, instead of running, air... instead of running off of gas, they run off electric. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's just uh, a mini electric oven. Okay, I hate yeah. to sound like a fucking idiot, especially since my dad is like a gourmet chef. 
But when you use a toast, because I, I don't use toaster ovens, do you put like oil in it or no? No, it's no. Just, it's it's just like a stove. So I mean, isn't uh, it an air oven. frying? So so when you're using a toaster oven, it's oh, just heating no, yeah, from the top yeah, yeah. and bottom, and it's just staying like that. But when you air fry, it's heating up the air, and the air is moving. Yeah. So the air is cooking. Yeah. The air not, is not like a it, red not like like light. a red light like, cooking it. Yeah. See, this is why I can't think too deep into this shit. Cause it's now, not, I'm, it's, it's, now I'm confused and I'm seeing fucking atoms and protons swirling yeah. around my yeah, head. Just you, honestly, you it's cl- a better, more even. Cook. Honestly, you close it it's, it's, and it yeah. cooks. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, it, it doesn't have that's to get. What Jerry said. It doesn't it's have a, to get. Crazy. I have it's used an air cook. fryer. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, I just don't, very, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah, why I asked the toaster question. I've used the toaster six hundred fucking times in my life, and I've never even. I have an air fryer. That's what I Shit works. Same. Same thing happened to me. You just hit it down, and then two minutes later, your shit pops up. You have cooked the bread, but. I don't know how that shit works. <laughs> I just see there's lights turn on down the there. Lights are like, right, cooking dope. it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, you saying you put bread in the in the air fryer? What? Do you, no, I didn't put a, a pizza bread in the air fryer. Ah, uh, but um, because you said because we like using. transitioned to that. I was like, oh shit. no, 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 no. Yeah. So transitioning, like, over, I made like um, like I fries. made pizza today. We made pizza today with uh, this bread my mom found somewhere, and that bread was like amazing. It was like the most tastiest pizza bread I ever had. And it was bought from like a store, not like not a pizzeria. Like it was some random store. Fire. Wait, so you got it pre-made like that, or you put the no, stuff? No, I put it? the stuff on that bread. Uh, I need to ask my mom what what bread was that because that was that was bomb. Yo, what's that bread? What's that? Where you got that bread from? And not the hey, yo, money. Yo, Bobby, uh, what kind of jelly did you use? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, talk about inside references. <laughs> Me Word. and Jerry and McCarran pool when we were like fifteen. Worse. My dad made those gourmet peanut butter and jelly <laughs> Bro, sandwiches. Like my, that was like the best peanut butter and jelly I've ever had. Yeah. Gourmet <laughs> peanut butter jelly. My dad, because you know, first of all, my dad has always been like that since I was a kid, and not like in the gourmet sense. It's just wherever we go. Like my dad used to take me out a lot as a kid. Like we go to the beach, especially because my mom was always working. So my dad would take me everywhere. And then, like, you you think I would get used to it, but it would always catch me by surprise. Like, three hours into the hangout, he'd just go into his pocket and be like, here, and just pull out two sandwiches. And I'm like, where, like, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, like, the, the, where did you store this? Like, yeah, he, like he, the oh, sandwich pocket, the pocket oh, sandwich dude. is always, always he always, he, and my dad's a chef, so he had shit everywhere. He'd, like, <laughs> open the glove box, and there's, like, a turkey leg in there, practically. Like, he was fucking insane with it. <laughs> open the trunk, there's a souffle. Yeah, yeah right. Like, like, he's been making yeah, it overnight. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but one time we went to McCarran Pool in Brooklyn and we brought Jerry and my dad made these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with peanut butter and with an apricot preserve. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was like mad good. So we ate that and we were it was like all we were talking about for like days. <laughs> and then I get a message from Jerry like two days later and he's like, yo, Bobby, what was the name of the jelly we had when we hung out with your dad at the pool? And I was like, that sounds weird, Jerry. The jelly we <laughs> ate in the peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> with an apricot preserve. Yo, remember when you rubbed that apricot <laughs> preserve on our dicks? <laughs> it's like <laughs> literally oh what he's saying. Yo, was, jelly. Yo, where's that jelly from the pool? Dude, I <laughs> I can't make this up, right? So the other day, maybe like two, I think it was two nights ago. Uh, my girlfriend goes to sleep super early. She mm-hmm. knocks out like ten o'clock at night. So you know, I've already said goodnight to my girlfriend. Da 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 da. It's like one in the morning and I'm like watching TV and I'm drifting off and then I, my phone buzzes and it's her. And at, my first reaction is like, oh my God, what's up? But it just so happened that her power went out in her house. So they had to like get electricians to come in and fix it or whatever. And then I, I asked her, I was like, why are you out? Where, like, why are you up so late? And she goes on, she tells me that exact same thing. And then she's like, why are you up, babe? And at first I was just going to be like, oh, you know, I'm falling asleep. And then I was like, mm, what the mm-hmm. fuck is that? Like I'm smelling. I open my door and I hear things like slamming. It is two in the morning. Yeah. I go downstairs and it smells like bacon, like yeah. mad bacon. It does and I'm like, bacon. I'm like, what the fuck? So I hear whistling and shit like that. My mom is out cold in her room. I come downstairs in my chonclas and my underwear and I look at him from halfway down the stairs and I'm like, you okay? And he's like, yeah, I got hungry. And I was like, what are you making? And he's like, French toast with bacon. And I was like, all right. And he's like, you want some? And I'm like, I'll die if I eat that right now. Are you kidding me? And I go to bed. Like, Two in the morning, man. My dad woke up bro. at one in the morning, went to the kitchen, made fucking bacon and French you never toast. Had, you never woke it, up bro. those days and thought, man, I'm going to make this whole freaking entree right now. <laughs> my dad all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to bed right now. Exactly. I mean, if I was that good at cooking, bro, I'd fucking... Like, it's not like I'm going to just make a cheese sandwich or anything. It's like, I'm going to make a whole meal. Fuck and, like, bro. half of what astonishes me is the cooking, but the other half is that he's able to eat this without, like, 
the in, like the digestive problems. Yeah. I think part of it is like almost the conditioning thing because he's been doing this for so long. But no bullshit. My dad could eat like a full ass like meal with meat and everything like an hour before bed and he'll be fine. Wow. Yeah. Meanwhile, I, I eat like something and it doesn't digest properly and I'm fucking diarrhea in the bathroom for like three hours. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've had uh, a, I, I had a few anymore. problems. I think it's just because I'm we're aging and shit that I can't eat before going to bed because like. Almost like this, like acidy reflux. Thing. I can't do that either. It's like I keep, I feel like almost going back and up, up and down. Like I can't body. eat meat yep. before bed. Like I won't eat meat any more than two hours before I go to bed. That takes a while to yeah. break down. If anything, that. I'll have like a bowl of cereal before bed or something chill like that. Where it's but even chill. then, that's harder for like people like you or people who have like dairy. Nah, I'd be eating OD, but I just don't eat dairy. Yeah, yeah. that'll fuck me up. You're also lactose? sensitive to dairy. Hmm? You're lactose. Yeah, I didn't Same. know that. I am also. No way. Some Do you guys way. use uh, the pills? Most people are. Oh uh, yeah, I use them. if I pop, if I, pop if one, I enjoy want some ice cream, if or... I have to, if I'm eating the thing, yeah, right. But if I have like if I have like dairy in like my coffee or something like that, like I won't like die. Can I ask a right. lactose intolerant question? <laughs> so I know like it's not that serious, like you'll die or anything yeah. like that. But are there like products that will agitate you more than others? Uh, cheese. Well, it depends. Like hot cheese, like hotter hot dairy, I think is worse. Yeah, and even then, there's also a lot of processed cheese. Like Kraft doesn't bother you because that's not right. real dairy because yeah, yeah. it's Kraft. It's processed. But like cheese. milk, will, like yeah. a lot of milk will like destroy you. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, I like some yogurt can be bad because yeah, that's yogurt. all. But it that also depends on like. Is this why yogurt. you don't put milk in cereal, or is that just because you're? A fucking I would never. Psychopath? I well, my dad isn't lactose intolerant, but he's like highly allergic. So like he'll okay. get hives if he drinks milk. God, my I'm and sure. my mom is lactose. And my, I believe my brother also would get hives from it. So, so we you're just, just never a weirdo. So we just yeah. never have it in the house. Yeah, most people. Are and like my mom would, li- my mom, crazy. my mom would literally only buy like a pint or like a quart to use for cooking, and that's it. I'll never forget the first time Dylan stood over, and I was like, "You want breakfast?" He's like, "Yeah." Cereal just like, dry. Hold the milk. I was like, "What the fuck, Dylan? Are you a crazy person?" <laughs> mm-hmm. Or even if I do have milk, I'll put like a tiny bit, and then like, I find it funny that like I imagine like seven year old Dylan walking. Do you want some cereal? Yeah. <laughs> like a sandwich. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, just, you just, I mean, you eat it at the box at that point. I'm gonna be real. You eat it out of the box. I'm and looking it back, it makes sense, that. but I never like identified it as like being at lactose intolerant. Because I feel like lactose intolerant was like, oh, like that's a serious problem. Yeah, you would obviously know if you're stuck. Like, that's yeah. a, that's the thing in cartoons. Yeah. That's a big deal, you know. Like, yeah, oh, Jimmy's it. lactose intolerant, and then he gets all he bloated. can't come to the party. He gets all bloated, or he's constantly throwing up, and everyone laughs at him. What was it gives me like? acne. Uh, so like back looking back into like high school, I was like, oh, and like middle school a lot. I was like, oh shit, I used to drink like three milks, like three chocolate milks in middle school. <laughs> and then right? I drink chocolate so, milk every day, and then, <laughs> and then pizza, and yeah, then pizza, right? mad pizza. Back oh, to, pe- uh, I can't, dr- I can't eat pizza at all. Back to is that why bad. we, is that why we don't order eat, pizza anymore? I can't eat pizza. I legit can't eat it. If That'll I have more than half a slice, I get diarrhea. I get uh, acid Bro, reflux. I have to I get lactose. The joystick. Bo- so good thing we know about how their bodies work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, uh, we've been ordering like Popeyes after these like podcasts like all the time. Like even t- <laughs> today before this podcast, I walked into Bobby and Dylan eating Popeyes. We're eating Popeyes, yeah. And uh, Sponsored. I, I, I brought it up yeah, to someone. I was like, bro, let's order a pizza. We haven't ordered a pizza in mad long. And now I know why. Yeah. Yeah, tell me in advance. I'll bring my pills. Because they'll die. Because <laughs> they'll die. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna bring, like in the cartoons. Not to bring it full circle, but back to like my dad's nightly eating habits the other day. Uh, speaking of my dad yelling upstairs. Yeah. He, uh, I come to us. My dad d- does this weird thing where, like, he leaves all the lights on downstairs while he's in the bathroom at like one, two in the morning. Like, he's up and about. I don't know. But I go downstairs and there's a fully made bowl of cereal on the counter to the brim, milk, everything, spoon in it. But my dad is in the bathroom, like, pooping, <laughs> right? So I okay. knock on the door and I'm like, yo, you good? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, he's mad. I'm having a smoke. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then I'm like, don't let your. Your cereal gets soggy. It's just sitting here, and he's like, "That's how I like it." And I was like, "All right, just fucking slurp down your brazen brand or whatever." Like, I don't I mean, like soggy I can't. cereal. Nah, sludge. That's, that's done for me. Ugh, yeah. I don't like that. Maybe like honestly, a twitch. anything yeah. soggy is just not a vibe most it's of the not, time. Not. Like unless it's like a. Br- but what about spaghetti? Nah, it's it saucy. Has to, it has to be firm still. But what if it's just like no butter? Well, I like I like al dente. I like Jerry's when it's right. like hard. It has to be some sort like there is a texture thing. It's got to be have a little firmness to it, a little bite al dente yeah. as they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be. Me too. I can't. I can't. Like my big thing. Like my big thing is like I'd say like cook fruit. Like that was I always tell people. Oh, yeah, like yeah. texture wrong. But it has soup. To, 
it has more to do with it has more to do with <laughs> texture than with like the actual food. It's not that it's like sweet and it's a cooked thing. It's that now it's like warm yeah. and just like yeah. something that usually it's, had a that usually has a bite is like now yeah like it's no like bite. here's this fresh crunchy thing <laughs> from the gods like everyone is like this is this delicious thing you can just leave it it's perfect it's already genetically modified it's like okay let's throw it in a pie <laughs> let's let's smush it up and put it in a sauce it's like no that's damn so you don't like apple pie eh, uh... it's all right Uh, hey, what's up? We're professionals, and we didn't lose all of that footage or anything no, like that. All. Like fucking uh, all of the jam and yam. Thankfully, it was the, the last part of the <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah, thankfully, it was the last part of the nice. show. We'll Damn, just re- recite what our things are. I just went through a really good setup line, and now I have to say it again, and you guys aren't going to laugh as hard, but you guys have to laugh, okay? Okay, we'll laugh. Uh, so. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Last week's jam I got from a melee video, and this week's jam is also from a fucking melee video. It's called "And We Go Gentle." It's from a really sick melee edit. It's by the band Hiatus Coyote. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and yeah. check it out. It's mad good. Dylan, Dope. what's your yam of the week? I I'm on a huge backlog, no doubt. I know <laughs> you say that. He's no doubt, saying the no same exact Dylan's thing. Dylan's saying the exact same. It's so, bugging me out right um, now. <laughs> You know, I'm I'm gonna go with the song. It's called Fox Gloves. By That's Former not what Hero. you picked before. Uh, what the fuck? It's that really, is what he picked. That's it's a really, not what he picked. <laughs> it's a really cool song. It's um, it's like EDM house. Uh, kind of has like he just some. Just picked cool the hyper pop song. Uh, what's hyper pop? I've never heard of that. <laughs> Um, yeah, this this is a really good song. Um, it's like really fast. It's like it's e- you know rhythm. electronic. It's really nice. Want to use backlog? <laughs> Yo, fucking hold Bob. On. Hold on. Hold on. Hold Somebody on. break wow. the, the All right, time. Going on slam and bam? So Shut up. Slam and bam, <laughs> bam time? Was well, you, Joey, we go to <laughs> slam. Is that legit yam? Yeah, yeah that's okay. Yamabu. That's the new yam. Shut up. Here we go. <laughs> My slam is um, Montrose by Man Overboard. And uh, I never really like listened to that band. Are they cringy? <laughs> I think they are. But they're having an anniversary tour. <laughs> and because, because I want to like... Um, I don't know because it's they're saying like oh this is our last show and then we're gonna go into retirement. I kind of want to see it like to say like oh I was there their last show. I don't know there's something special about that. So that's why I've been listening to them a lot. And they're uh, that one song I mentioned. Yeah, it was pretty good. One of their best ones I think. Speaking of tours, mine is um, Gucci Canal Paradise. Oof. Because nice. we were talking about it in the chat the other day. This they morning concert. Oh, was it? It was Today? this morning, yeah. Yeah, they gave me a uh, freaking uh, notification Spotify the other day. They were like, oh, they're coming in October. Loki, you want to go to that? Let's go. That I like when fun. Spotify does that. Catch actually. us at that concert. October 10th, go check out the Joystick Boys. <laughs> It'll be like that'll legit be our hold on how what that'll be for what Jerry that'll be our fifth on our Gucci concert I don't even know I think our fifth it's a lot no we went to the one all three of us was the first one yeah, yeah. then me and Jerry went to the Brooklyn Night Bazaar one right. without you okay and then yeah. we saw the Dylan Francis one where they opened for him right. I was there we, yeah and, and then, then we the went one to the one me. for my birthday for my twenty first birthday in yes. Brooklyn that's four for me and Jerry this will be our fifth. Wow! Nice, yeah. crazy. And they're really different. They're not even because they don't always headline. They're, sometimes they're just like they open for a lot. We're here. Know, they're open. <laughs> yeah. But what's like, cool is like their shows, like their headlining shows, are always so fire. Oh my god, their headlining shows are so colorful. Yeah, this dude in his homemade lights. Yeah, he brings yeah the the one band member creates his own lights. Not only that, he like makes uh like he engineers light rigs and systems for like famous musicians. Like he's done them for like Taylor Swift's yeah, tour he and shit like that. Shit, yeah. That is fucking dope. Smart and guy. we're going to a guy who that's his that's job. his band. Yeah, that, that's his <laughs> band. You know he's gonna go fucking all out. Also, I think I, I have to look up on it. I think it's one of those expo shows that they were doing pre COVID, where like it's like the all day thing. Like you show mm-hmm. up at like four, but they have like board games and like pre shows and food is and shit really? like that. And they refunded night, me because COVID. Yeah, but I, I I don't know because when I saw the tickets, they mentioned something like those are back or something like that. So I don't. You don't have to do both. Like you can still okay, just you buy can the just ticket for the concert. concert. You don't have to. It's just you can buy the whole thing. Yo, that ping pong place was kind of fire though. Brooklyn Night Bazaar. Yeah. I was hyped. Yo, Yo, what was got, that fighting you, the game you, you got played? Your there? nose punched, bro. They had like street fighters. I didn't get my nose punched. I got my fucking elbow, my forehead rocked by some word. That's on video. It is on video. Had a bump in my forehead the size of like a D battery. That hurt too. I'll never forget me and Jerry like stumbled over. There was like a woman who was like dealing drinks with her. I was like, do you have ice? And she saw my head and she was like, no, sweetie, I don't. But you should sit down. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> Bro, that's a lie. Bar cold somebody. water. 
Yeah, who did it, it? No, it wasn't like a bar. Uh-huh. It, I don't know how to explain it. It was just like a big open place, and then they, they have like an event there once a week. So it's kind of like oh. they bring the bar. I yeah. want to talk about that, but I want Jerry to. Did Jerry say you? Yeah, you did. Okay, right. so I do want to talk about this now. Yes. Um, Jose was telling a story how he went to like he was walking and I think a bird pooped on him and he was like mad tight. So he went into like a laundromat. He says, believe you, there was actually like a laundromat that was close by or like a a cleaning services, like like dry cleaning services. So he went and he was like, hi, uh, do you have like any maybe napkins or a cloth or, or paper towels? He says, do you have any paper towels that I can use so I can wipe this off? And the woman was like. Oh no no we we don't sorry and then Jose said you're a dry cleaning service <laughs> and you don't have any fucking paper towels <laughs> I have shit on my shoulder can I have <laughs> cleaning towels and then they went and get, they got pa- paper towels for him <laughs> like I was like that dead ass like, like you see this guy with shit on his shoulder literally you after- see this guy with shit on his shoulder you're really gonna just be like no. Sorry. Yeah. Fuck you, bro. Because they're trying to make Jose take his shirt off right there and just put it in for the service, bro. <laughs> oh, they just wanted to see him naked. Yeah. <laughs> you see, it's, yeah. it's like they're not gonna make any money. They just give him the Yo, I see the smoke, and I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! If only. <laughs> Can I just throw it in the machine real quick? You just get fully naked. <laughs> I, I brought a bag too, which is other shit I had to wash. Yeah, just throw it in free, there at the right? same time. I'm dead. I might as well. Come on. Might as well. Save the planet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that about wraps episode 52. Correct. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the show, like, subscribe, yeah. comment. Uh, most sus rap lyric. That's yeah. pretty good, actually. Yeah. Uh, maybe the most sus rapper. Yeah, because there's a couple well, out yeah, there. There's a lot. Bro, yeah, that's better. And uh, other than that, thanks for joining us for another fantabulous week of the Joystick Show. We're gonna go shelter up before Hurricane Henry fucking makes way and uh, does whatever the fuck it's gonna do. And without further ado, does anybody have anything last to say? Anybody? Yes. <laughs>